Hey, Air Signs, what's up? So I asked about your love situation for real this time, not just what comes out in front of me, okay? Just be love of yourself or future love or current love. So I have kind of pre shuffled some of these. So I'm going to start with 38. Restore and replenish. There's a lot of green here, a lot of growth, okay? You see how she's gold and green? This is good. So this is. You're in need of something so much more deeper than rest. You need restoration, replenishment, and revival. This would not necessarily come from lying about somewhere, taking a moment out of your day or evening. You're more likely to gain what you need by breaking with your normal routine completely and doing something different. Okay? You need some variety, some spice, some change to bring fresh energy into your body, mind, and heart. You need to restore and revive yourself by changing the usual flow of energy through your being. You can stimulate this process by going to a different place, meeting different people, and taking different action and approaches to what you would normally do. Right? You can return to your regular routine in time. If it feels good for you, however, it is now time to move without pushing yourself beyond what is known, comfortable, and familiar. Oracle comes as a message from the great loving guardian, which is life itself. You have been working so hard and have accomplished so much already. However, you often sell your accomplishments short and focus on how much more is yet to be done. Life is telling you that it's time to put down the paintbrush, the pen, the endless list, and thinking mind, and get into your body. Not to be rude or brass or whatever, but maybe you should uh, love yourself a little bit, huh? Sounds like you've been working a little too hard. So you can, you can like, for real get into your body. Discover your body. This is for men or women. I keep hearing discover your own body, which is going to like help open you up, right? Open you up to more experiences, not be so like timid and shy. You would be so surprised about how knowing your body, loving on your own body can give you a whole new shift in perception, okay? Like I said, not to be brass or nothing, not to be taboo, it's not taboo. You know what my saying is, if God didn't want me to touch it, he wouldn't have made it arm's length. Okay? I'm sorry. He wouldn't have made it arm's length. Okay. It's a confirmation that you are in an important transition between one level of experience and the next. If you feel as though you are treading water or on sort of a purgatory, somewhere between your old life and your new life, this particularly applies to you. Okay? If you can't quite break into the level you're reaching for, have faith. It's just taking a breather between the races. Uh, Aquarius, I believe I got something similar to this for you personally. Okay? Uh, you can go check that month out. It's up. So you need to refresh your spirit. Do a new endeavor. Uh, da -da -da -da, meet your own needs. Healthy and good. You need to heal yourself. You've been under the weather. You've been too stressed. This will help heal you. Your body, your mind, your soul. And whatever you're doing is working and bringing you benefit, even if you're yet to experience the full extent of that benefit. So this could mainly be for, like, singles out there who are wanting, wishing, hoping. You cannot bring abundance into your life until you heal yourself you get a new way of thinking and that is going to bring the abundance of love for yourself and another person in because you if you can't fully love yourself right now no you're not going to attract the person that you want okay we also have peaks of joy number 33 by the way that card was 38 so threes are very abundant here for you this is peaks of joy your life is filled with happiness, so share it with others. That's after you replenish yourself. Okay? Joy is yours today. No matter what your inquiry, you will be happy with the results. You're coming closer to a sense of... Pause. <laughs> oh, by the way, thank you, Air Science, for joining me again at Brandy Story and I Tarot. I'm definitely going to try to do more readings out for you. Rearrange my schedule, my life, my photo shoot, everything. Okay? So, <clears throat> achievement, and you've worked hard for it. You're surrounded by true companions and events that are synchronously <laughs> arranged to bring you to the next level of your life. 
The world is singing a beautiful harmony. Life is exhilarating and hopeful. Let gratitude fill your heart and remember to share your happiness. Joy is contagious. And this just links back to me telling you to heal your body, mind, and soul. Do a little playtime with yourself. Um, and that's going to bring you into alignment and bring you this piece of joy. This joy. Come out of not knowing what your next step is. What are you going to do? Because we have the Empress on the bottom as well with the moon in reverse. Ignore the guy in the background. <laughs> this is um, uh, Empress's delays. It's also, uh, I consider, Libra and Taurus. Okay, the Empress is beautiful. She is abundant. She nurtures. She is a uh, new birth. Okay, new birth of something. Uh, creative, new birth of life. New birth, new perspective, everything. Nurturing. You see the stars above her head here. Like divinity. A rainbow in the background. You know, a baby to the side. A ring. The Taurus symbol. Fertility. She is everything. She is the world. She is bright eyed. She is no all knowing. She is content with herself, right? This is a woman who knows who she is. This could be a guy too, okay? Air signs. Very content in knowing who you are. Knowing you are very abundant. Knowing you are very fertile. Okay, look at her. There's not one doubt in her eye. Not one doubt in her eye. Coming out of feeling in the dark. Coming out of not knowing what path to choose. Coming out of this. That's the moon in reverse. There's a lot of chaos here in the moon. Okay? There's the third eye, which has been kind of blocked here. There's a crack in the moon. You know, there's a boat. There's art. It's, a, it's kind of a vicious card. Even the moon looks a little worried. The eye is not completely open. That is coming out of it. That is coming out of this chaos and not knowing what path to choose. And, and standing within your own power, which Three of Cups in this deck is celebration. Celebrate. Let's celebrate with the Tower in reverse, okay? Because you are shifting your perception and keeping you from losing your way. That's what this shouted in my head. It's keeping you from. Uh, when you restore and replenish yourself, I guess that is. Restore and replenish. Alright, we got the Knight of Coins. Slowest moving knight in the deck. We all know that. But abundant, all the same. The horse has fire. It is, it's got a ram, so we're going to say this is Aries Taurus. Or not Aries. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I mean, whatever. Aries specifically because of the horns and the fire but also of earth okay mm. yeah replenishing yourself nourishing yourself this this tortoise is like seriously eating on this uh, abundance here in the grass okay knowing what you want where your stability lies but you cannot have that until you do the steps that are needed to replenish and heal yourself now since I'm doing love all I see right now with the Ace of Pentacles is that big old diamond ring in the middle of this star you have the key to replenish yourself and receive what it is that you want with movement it does not come overnight but I, you see that giant diamond ring in the middle, folks. Once you do this, I think you're going to get what you want. If you stop being so defensive, your religious factors are in the way. I did pull this for water signs, and I swear I shuffled this. Your religious upbringing is in the way of your abundance. Love yourself first is underneath this. That all goes back to love yourself first. This is definitely for uh, the majority of single air signs out there. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Romantically attractive air signs. 
mm, you need to go love on yourself and be a little more in tune with your mind, your body, and your soul, and your own anatomy, okay? And that brings in this restore and replenish and everything that you've wanted that's stable. I have stability here. That's what I have once you do this. Joyful celebration. <laughs> Wedding. <laughs> Wedding, wedding, wedding. You see this? You see this? Damn, air sign. Damn. I did ask for a love situation for August of 2019. Once you restore and replenish yourself, three to six months. Three to six months. This could have been in the past two spirits not on the same timeline as us, okay? Three to six months, this is what you're looking at. This is the timeline. Oh, shit. Restore and replenish. Growth. Healing. Uh, not just doing your normal. So sorry about my own flab. Woo! Okay? Brings you this. Brings you this. Once you step out of the old way of thinking, love yourself first. Replenish yourself first. Get in tune with your own body, new experiences, new places, new ways of thinking. Brings you what you've been struggling to have this whole time. But you have to shift your perspective. This is what the tower in reverse. Shift in perspective kind of saves you. It saves you by shifting your perspective, air signs. That's, I got cold chills. That's when you stop being defensive and in your old ways and actually take a retreat for yourself here. You get the balance. You get what you want. May not come in the form or the way that you first wanted, but it it's going to come. And it looks great. It may, it's just three to six months here. What's the future person for my air signs thinking? What's the future person for my air signs thinking? Thank you, that one flipped. Not two flowers are the same, yet all are beautiful in their own way. You're very unique to this person. You're not normally what they may go for. You may actually stand out. Comparisons are odious because they presume all other things are equal, which is never the case between me and you, the universe. That's the, where the religious factor and stuff comes in. And to love yourself. You definitely are... You stand out to them. Like, you are this beautiful sunflower in the middle of daisies. Type of thing. Alright, give me one more card. For air signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. For August 2019. For their love situation. Alright. You needn't worry, says the universe. Look at the beautiful card here. There's no one in your life who hasn't always loved you. They're all just learning how to show it. Big sillies. I think this comes back to like loving yourself, and this person is definitely going to love you for you once you heal and restore yourself. Okay? I'm going to leave it at that, air signs. Let me know in the comments what's going on. You can even return in three to six months and let me know about... That big old diamond ring there. Energy through shift.